Nagdudugo na yata. Alak ka! Hello! And today I'm going to do the swatches and the review of the Mino Kiss Proof Lipstick. Wait, is that Mino, Minao, Menao? Me no. <laughs> I'm not sure. I know I'm pretty late to review and swatch these lipsticks out because there's a lot of reviews out there. But last week I was so intrigued with them because they are really long lasting, as people say. So I figured to buy some of them. And I didn't have any plans to review these products out because you have a lot of reviews out there available to you guys. But the thing is, when I tried and used these products, my opinion is very different from the people who reviewed this product. So I figured since my opinion or since my view is different, I'm going to do a review on them. So I got five shades and as you can see, the theme of this bunch is nudes, neutrals, and browns. But that's my cup of tea. I love nudie, brownie colors. Before anything else, let's go on to the swatches. The first one that we're going to swatch is my most favorite shade among the bunch and this one is in number 8 and if you a swatch it looks like this you know it is your perfect brownie nude it is it all the rage right now it's like having a Kylie Jenner lip next one is number 5 and it is also a nude and it is just your basic peachy nude as you can see, it has more peach than this one right here. So this is the color right here. It is lighter, it is more peachy, but still it is nude. Next one is number 17 and it is also a nude. I'll give you a swatch. And it is this color right here. So it is your nude with a hint of gray and brown in it. So it is very different from these two colors. This one is more cool tone. Next one is number 15 and I think this color would fit a lot of skin colors out there because it is just your go-to pink. It fits a lot of skin colors. Next is number 12 and this one is the darkest color that I have. It is just your plummy, mauvey, brownie color. So I just realized that I left this color out. So this one is number 11 and it is your somehow darker brown color with a hint of red in it. I'm in my mom's office. Say hi. Yeah, so wala tayong emote emote kung paano ko i-wear to, but I'm wearing it right now. So you guys saw the swatches, and this is where my view is different from the others that reviewed this product is that you guys saw it in the swatches, the colors are so different. I don't know why a lot of people are saying that their colors are redundant, like even though the one, two, and three are so the same, and even though I have like skipping colors, they look so different. They're different from each other. I have never seen a color that is similar to one color. When I swatched the other lipsticks at the store, they were so different from one another. Is it just my eyes? Because I have very poor eyesight, but you guys be the judge. You saw it in the swatches. For me, the colors are so different from one another. And even though they are in the color, in the same color family, they still have a difference to them. One is warmer, one is colder, one has more yellow shade in it, one has more blue shade in it. So I don't know why a lot of people are saying that they do not like the color selection of this collection because, you know, the colors are so redundant. No, they are not. The colors are so different from one another. Now let's go on to the packaging. So it comes in a box like this. And you can somehow see here, like when the product is inside, you can see the shade that you are getting. And when you open this, you also have like a little guide on how you would use this product. And I, pre I appreciate it when companies do that so that, you know, makeup beginners know how to use the products properly. Let's take a look at this packaging. I love the packaging of this lipstick. Again, I appreciate it when companies do this so that it would be easier for us to pick what shade we are getting 
And you know, somehow this packaging, whoopsie, oh, it's safe guys, it's safe. <laughs> okay, so anyway, as I was saying, this packaging reminds me of the NARS, like, what do you call those? The NARS chubby sticks, you know? It does not look cheap, it looks decent. See? It looks really nice. Now let's go on to its claim. Now first is that this liquid lipstick instantly lifts and hydrates lips. Number one, this one is not a liquid lipstick. You know, this is not a liquid lipstick for me. Is this a liquid lipstick? No, this is not a liquid lipstick. So no, it's not a liquid lipstick. Next is that it lifts. I don't know what is the intent of the company when they say lift. Like, does your lips do that when you put it? I'm not sure what that is about, but I think if it's about plumping, no, this product does not plump your lips. And lastly, it says here that it hydrates lips. No, no, that's a lie and I would go further into detail later on. Number one is that this product is so long-lasting. When they say that it is long-lasting, it really is long-lasting. It would not budge when you eat. It would not budge when you drink. It would not budge when you rub it off. It just stays there. You know, when it comes to long-lasting products, you know, somehow the product that is inside your lips would fade when you eat and drink. But with this product, it does not do that. Number two is that it is pigmented. What you see in the bullet is what you see on your lips when you put it on. You have full on color, you have a vivid color. Number three is that it is transfer proof. Now, as reflected in their packaging, it says here that they are kiss proof and that is definitely true. No transfer whatsoever, even though you rub it. See? The product is still there. Number four is that they are very affordable. Now, I got mine for 150 pesos each. And medyo tumawad-tawad pa tayo. Because lima naman yung binili ko. So, you know, nakabawas din ako sa pagtawad. Pinatawad ako ng 20 pesos. But anyway, some online shops offer them or sell them for 80 pesos or 90 pesos. So, they are very affordable lip products as compared to the stuff that you would find in the drugstore. Store. Number one is that the formula of the lipstick varies depending on the color like the what which is it right here like this one number eight is so creamy when I put it on it's just like a dream but when I use this color right here number 17 it's somehow like it is rough on my lips so some are creamy some are not so creamy so you know the formula is not that consistent across the colors number two is that it is extremely drying trust me when I say that your lips would be tortured your lips would be parched when you put on this lipstick right here but I think it's a small price to pay when you have a very long-lasting lipstick because what do we expect do we expect for our lips to be moisturized all day and yet expect that the product would stay put all day? Of course, the formula has to be somehow drier than the usual so that the lipstick would stay put all day. Number three is that it is hard to sharpen. I don't know if it's just me, but you know, this one is my favorite one. And as you can see, it is not that sharp as it used to be as compared to the others because I already sharpened this product out and what I realized is that it is very hard uh, for it to get to the point that it is already sharp at the end like you have that sharp tip what happened when I sharpened uh, this color right here is that it just broke you know, it wastes product because I kept on sharpening and sharpening it until it gets to that fine tip at the end. But it's very hard to get there. I wasted a lot of product. The tip right here easily breaks. But again, as I said before, the formula on each of these varies. So since this one is more creamy than the others, the others were so easy to sharpen. I think the best way to use these is to use them as lip 
liners because they are long lasting and I really think that they would be a perfect base for your lips. It would really help your lipsticks to stay on all day. And of course, you're going to use a different lipstick on top of these so that would counteract the dryness of this lipstick. But again, just like what I said, these colors are so pigmented so they're also good on their own. You just have to deal with it, them cracking and drying your lips out. So I have a tip for the drying part so that your lips would not be so dry and cracked. And it is simple. You just use lip balm before you put on the lipstick. The lip balm that I have here is from Nivea and this one is the Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose and this one is from the makeup collection of my mom. Shh, don't tell her that I didn't ask her permission to use this. But you just have to make sure that the lip balm that you're going to use is clear so that it would not add a different color to the lipstick that you're going to put on. After slathering your lips with lip balm, you don't have to wipe it off. Instead, you go straight in with your lipstick so when you already put it on you just wait for it to set because it sets into a powdery matte finish now once it sets check on the mirror if you still have like that glossy finish and if you do just dab it just remove some of that like using a tissue or in this case I'm just using a towel just dab some of it so that it would look completely matte and trust me on this guys your lips would look matte but they feel very moisturized so that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found it helpful don't forget to subscribe and all that shit so you don't miss any of this and also go download my app the link is down below this is tish and i'll just see you on my next video wait see why is here See why it's sleeping. See why come? You want to say bye bye? You want to say good boy? Okay, say bye. These are my social media. So follow me, tweet me, stalk me. Okay, do not stalk me, but just, let's just be friends. <laughs>